Okay. All right. Uh, 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 okay. Now, uh, let me check here. Uh, what was the next part? Oh, yeah, I had to wait. Being too popular can be such a hassle. I'm not on the quest anymore. Who knew that wait two days. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's finish the story. They don't do the quests. Uh, yeah. No. There. Sometime, some more time passes after that. After I arrived here. The film has a successful premiere, and the Musk Murders case also successfully comes to an end. Xavier, it's been a while! Hey there, you two! Sorry I've been scarce, I've been buried in marketing and preparing the film for release ever since we wrapped post-production. The award ceremony is today, right? Paimon wonders if we'll win the Farina Award! I'd give it a 90% chance. Farina! Oh, Paimon didn't know you were already here! You're earlier than everyone else! I'm sure the others will also be here in no time. Uh, hmm... Xavier, if we end up getting called on stage, shouldn't you come up with a name for our crew? What, uh, but we don't even know if we're going to win! I wouldn't want to jinx our chances by celebrating early. <laughs> Just oh. open your eyes! Surely you've seen the audience's reactions to our film? We've had nothing but critical acclaim! You've also had conversations with the Opera House's operating staff, right? Didn't they want to increase the number of showings? With the Mora you've made from the box office, you can now open your very own film company! But that's all credit to my amazing crew! People, no. You've all helped to make this a reality, so I can't be the only one asked to come up with a name. Well, give it some thought. I'm sure the crew will respect your choice. All right, but before that, Traveler and Paimon, could I trouble you to quickly pay a visit to the Fortress of Meripede? Huh? But shouldn't we stay for the award ceremony? I wanted to ask you two to invite Shavras to join us at the ceremony. She's one of the lead roles, after all. I haven't been able to find her recently, so I haven't had the chance to invite her personally. According to the papers, the culprits of the musket murder case will be personally escorted today by the captain of the special patrol to the Fortress of Meripede. Oh, Paimon gets it now. It'll be a piece of cake for us. Yep, just wait here, Xavier, and maybe try to come up with a few snappy-sounding names. All right, then I'll leave you to it. Will we really win an award? Trust me, when have I ever been wrong about something like this? Oh yeah, I better avoid talking to anybody here because... Well, the ones, obviously. Uh, uh quest. Uh, let's talk to them only afterwards. Hmm. Yeah, there may be some people that will comment on we winning after the fact, if they are there just as talking NPCs and not part of any quests. Hmm. The 
This is as far as I'll be taking them. I'll leave the three of them to you now. Got another errand to run? Something like that? I'm expected at a party. Now that's something you don't hear every day. Found a new pastime? No, it's just a special occasion. Shivers, Risley! Festivals really do bring people together. It's been a while since I last had so many visitors at the Fortress of Meripede. Call it the festival spirit, I guess. Yeah, you could say that. Even our head nurse has gotten herself all worked up preparing super deluxe nutritious shakes. Just one gulp and you'll have met all your nutrition needs. Were you talking about work just now? We've already finished discussing everything. So, what do you think about my heads up, Mr. Risley? Hmm. I believe I haven't yet made any promises or guarantees. But you also didn't shoot me down. Here, how about this? You could give everyone a copy of the newspaper. Perhaps on the day when the cover story happens to, oh, I don't know, expose a certain someone's misdeeds from 20 years ago? Hmm. I suppose then a certain someone may soon find himself the most unlucky person in the Fortress of Meripede? While another two people will soon be hailed as heroes. Speaking of heroes, did you two need something from me? You're here to invite me to the party, right? Don't worry, I didn't forget. Ooh, then let's head back right away! See you, Risley! Happy Fontanalia Festival! And the same to you. Please, go and enjoy the festival. Yeah, there was all that coat and torturing of many people under Rosalie's nose. Will he be able to prevent people from just killing the guy after he gets here? And the winner of the Farina Award for the first Fontanalia Film Festival is... The Two Musketeers! That's a cool poster. We won! We really won! Congratulations, Mr. Xavier. We won? Uh, uh, I can't believe it! I, I really can't thank all of you enough! See? My takes on Fontaine's entertainment industry have never been wrong. Now... Please welcome to the stage, the producer of The Two Musketeers, Mr. Xavier! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you all so much for your recognition and support. While I'm up here, I would love to give special thanks to... Time really flies, huh? It certainly feels that way. It feels like it was only yesterday when you were teaching me to hold a musket. Will you come back to Fontaine again? Of course. I'm very fond of the city. There are so many novel and interesting things that it's been hard to keep track of them all. But how about you? Would you be interested in visiting Inazuma? I can't say the thought has crossed my mind before, but I'd be willing to consider it now. I will be eagerly awaiting your visit. It would be wonderful if you could visit my home and enjoy a taste of our tea and desserts. Yeah, let's keep in touch. Did you accomplish all you came here for? Yes. And you should visit Inazuma again sometime. How has Ogura and her business been? To my knowledge, she's doing quite well. Tell her I said hi. I certainly will. I heard the thunderstorm has stopped. Yes, and the war has also been brought to an end. Peace and prosperity has returned to the islands. I quite like the sound of that. Perfect for hanging textiles out to dry. 
I'd like to offer my thanks again to the entire cast and crew. Without you, I would have never completed this film, much less had the opportunity to be standing on this stage. With the support of my entire crew, I would like to officially announce our film company, Musketeer Pictures! Ho-ho! <laughs> that has a really nice ring to it! Then in that case, let's please welcome all the members of Musketeer Pictures onto the stage for a commemorative photo! Hmm. Oh, Paimon didn't know we'd also be taking pictures! Ooh, Director Farina, I believe you are the most deserving person to raise this trophy. Huh? No, 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 no. There's no need. It's so embarrassing. It's an honor the director deserves. Yes, I agree. I can't think of anyone better for the honor. I don't know. I think Xavier would be better. Just accept that you're not getting out of this. Ready, everyone? Three. Two, one! Musketeer, Musketeer pictures. pictures! Oh, okay. I could have finished this yesterday then. It wasn't too much. Okay, it's somewhere here. But nice. Lady Farina, please allow me to take just one more photo of you. I would also love to get your autograph, just as a memento of our time together on the crew. Hey, I've had enough of the camera flashes from when we were all up on stage. But, but... Lady Farina, you are the best director I've ever met! The most photogenic maiden in all of Fontaine! This kind of lively and celebratory setting is exactly where you shine. I believe all photographers would agree. Come, the brightest star of our land! Show us your light! The camera is waiting to sing praises of your beauty! Well, I'm flattered, but, uh, but... <sighs> All right, I'll humor you and try a few more different poses. But I don't have to hold the trophy, right? Uh, of course, you may pose however you like. Thank you so much, thank you so much. By the heavens, my luck has been beyond belief. I'm having a hard time coming to terms with it now. Oh. Mm. Okay, let's let's check here and then we'll go in order. Ah, this is just the story. All right. Uh... Okay. Oh, that's a small fault. Text here is usually larger. Uh, does a base turn. Diction, art minutes, sharp shooting is all. Uh, doesn't matter what's written there. Hmm? Okay, let's go in order that. It's showing there. Ah, uh, but we should talk to whoever is here for our crew first. Miss Yoimiya, we haven't had the chance to talk, but please accept my thanks for everything you've done over the past few days. Oh, but I feel like I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. I'm very grateful for your assistance during that special performance in the warehouse. It was always going to be somewhat risky to engage and draw away Morris all on your own. You're only a civilian and have never been trained to act in such a dangerous situation. She has a vision. Don't say it she like has. that. As the director's assistant, it was my duty to help out the crew however I could. It was an honor to help you solve the case. I have to admit, though, my heart was thumping super hard the entire time it was laying on the ground. Oh, I was scared that everyone would notice. <laughs> you did great. Oh, and before I forget, if you ever visit Inazuma, please come and pay a visit to Naganahara Fireworks. I'll make some fireworks for you. I even know what shape we'd make. I'm guessing... a musket. 
<laughs> Telling you now would ruin the surprise. If you really want to see it, just come and visit me. Okay, but where are the others? Birds here. Very well, you, Remno, Special Security Surveillance Patrol Trainee. Take our positions, form ranks, muskets up, and take aim and fire. Repel the enemy advance. Uh, come take part in the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol's special event and experience the joy of being a musket sharpshooter. Musket sharpshooter. Not a concept we're too familiar with. Looking at the style this guard set up, I'm okay to help but wonder what the event she mentioned could possibly have to do with the Fontanalia uh, Film Festival. Uh, it's the Super Zenith Boss Level Forces. Uh, what in the blazes are you doing here? Ah, I didn't remember your name, so you were the one from the other event. If you two help me promote my booth, I'll be able to hit my quota for sure. Uh, who in the one now? Uh, blah blah blah, force this thing isn't another weird nickname for Paimon, is it? That's right, it's a title for you too that's becoming popular among the members of the guards. Okay, so maybe it wasn't you. I really don't remember the guard's name. Ah, okay. You might not remember, but we've actually met before, but considering how ordinary looking I am, and the fact that I'm just a mediocre sharpshooter, I'm not surprised that I didn't leave much of an impression. Anyway, let's just pretend that this is our first meeting. I'm Trina, a Special Security and Surveillance Patrol trainee, and I'm in charge of handling all sorts of odd jobs for the patrol. Given how popular the film festival is, the Special Patrol is hoping to ride on its coattails by running a publicity campaign with the aim of spotting hidden talent among the citizenry. So, ta-da! Behold the shooting simulator on the table in front of you, known as the Thousand Pace Interdiction Arc Minute Sharp Shooting Zone. Uh, it doesn't seem to be something that would really be able to test people's accuracy with guns. They could make a shooting range somewhere safe. Uh, this thing looks a little like a little model of the Court of Fontaine. Uh, uh -huh, but not just the Court of Fontaine, the same table allows you to change the area, so you can switch to wilderness scenery if you want. Much less spectacular than the Court of Fontaine, though. Combined with a special pair of optical goggles that the Fontaine Research Institute developed for us, it lets you simulate taking out enemies from a high just like a real special patrol sharpshooter. Basically, it's a game where you simulate using a musket to aim and fire targets, right? But the name is so hard to wrap your head around. What are interdiction and arc minutes supposed to mean? Uh, I came up with the event name based on a famous line that Captain Chavros once exhorted us with, which aptly expresses our lofty aspirations. An understanding musket sharpshooter always strives to for pinpoint accuracy. At a distance of a thousand paces, your shot grouping should be less than an arc minute. In reality, though, based on the current processing precision of mass produced muskets and the eyesight of our sharpshooters, achieving a dispersion of less than a single arc minute when firing from any further than a hundred paces away, let alone a thousand, is wishful thinking to put it mildly. But if we're talking about Captain Chavras, I still don't know how to say her name. They said it a bunch of times, but I'm not sure. I wouldn't put it past her. Oh, slow down a second, you're making Paimon dizzy. Don't get you hung up on technical terms, all we need to do is have fun. Super Zenith boss level force is right, sometimes it's not worth overthinking things, just give it a go. When I first joined the patrol, Captain Chevros, 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 told me that too. 
Anyway, please take these goggles and when you are ready, to, you can start playing with the simulator on the table. Well, after talking so much, why don't we try it out? I'm most curious what it felt like to fire musket in one way. Looks like it might be fun. Uh, yeah, I'm in the challenge. What's that? I am on the challenge. Why did you point send me to that screen if I run in front of it? Uh, heading for instructions about muskets. Oh, interesting. A custom made musket of your own? Can I? Though I couldn't tell you exactly how muskets work myself, don't you work with them? Don't you shoot them? I do recall hearing colleagues mention the names of several Austin gunsmiths. In terms of their lifespan, accuracy, and ballistic stability, there's simply no comparison between a mass produced musket and one that has been painstakingly crafted by a gunsmith. And if you're using high quality munition produced to very tight tolerance levels, then get ready for some jaw dropping results. But I seem to remember that regular citizens are large care muskets, at least not how having first cut through an absolute sea of red tape. I'm not an ordinary citizen. Uh, tell you what, when I return to the special patrol headquarters, I'll ask around for you. Let's play. Uh, no problem, this game doesn't use up any real munition, and the targets don't require maintenance. So you can play as many rounds as you like. Uh, open the details. Lift all opponents, objects. Feel combat cover. Can be destroyed, can be destroyed. Can't be destroyed. Your explosion on bullets destroyed. Explodes vigorously. Explosions and bullets can both destroy its type. Uh, you know, we should stretch from cover as if you want to open this somehow behind it. Then yeah, I have something else here. Uh, press the ambulance to start aim, press the shoot button to fire bullets to target and then to get all opponents. That's safe. Uh, limited ammunition. Ah, yeah. ammunition is limited. If you don't open it, we're projecting this target. Uh, Result of camera activity, okay. Oh, I yeah, can mess with the camera. Yeah, I wanted to know if I can give critical hits by shooting the head or something because I wasn't sure when I shot those guard backs. Uh, hmm. Oh, I start training. I just read that. Uh, will they all notice me and take cover once I start shooting? I don't have time. Oh, okay, so it can be. Patient. Damage. Do you die in a single hit? Hmm. 
Hmm, was there another one up there? Yeah. Load the word I'm looking for. A bit stiff, the aiming, but cool. Mm -mm. Emergency plan. Mm -mm. And this one have to protect. Okay, okay. Enemies? Oh. Game should spawn before. Okay, but I don't think we can go without taking any damage there. Hmm. Give it right. Patrolling powder keg. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was good. I think I'm buzzing like that. Uh, it should stop eventually. Ineffectual disguise. Uh, hang on, am I supposed to shoot that? I don't think it for that. Thank you. 
Oh, I didn't see them. Mm -mm. Why Iron Duke? Damage. Okay, and I'm done. That could be more. That was different from what they usually do. What's that? Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. Um, any new line? No. Okay. So the next one. Quick shot, street lights. And maybe like that thing we did with Farina. You don't have a name here now. Manlius, famous director. Oh, haha. My two radiant guests, you're finally here. You must be the legendary adventurers of Tivat and rising superstars, Ignis and Paimo. That is alright. Do you need our help? Uh, not just prone to exaggeration, but also a user of strange adjectives. Paimon feels like everyone we've met who comes straight to us with such flattery ends up asking us to do something for them. Out of it then, what do you want? Oh no no no, I don't want anything from you. I simply wanted to put forward a win-win proposal. 
Join Forces With Me, Fontaine's most talented experimental film director, Melius. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> to become the next big star on the big screen. Once you've made it, money, connections, it's all yours. Uh, wherever you go in the van, no one will dare to stand in your way, and you'll find yourself walking down an endless red carpet, rolled out just for you. I'd rather not attract even more unwanted attention, but I like it when people stand in my way. Uh, no more unwanted attention. Uh, but we don't even have much experience acting on camera. If if it were true that we could, we could get famous just by collaborating with you, then why aren't you already a, why aren't you already a super famous director, huh? And where are all the other stars that you've worked with? <laughs> no, you saw right through me. If only someone would set up a special training school for actors. I need someone who not only knows how to fight, but also how to control their expressions and interject emotion into their lines. In short, I need someone who can do it all. But said genius simply doesn't exist. So far, I've only finished planning the regular acting parts of my avant-garde production. I haven't even started on the action scenes, let alone finished my first film. I'm worried that I'll have to resort to employing stunt doubles, so that's why you two are such perfect candidates. The stunt doubles mean what I think it does. You want us to shoot the fighting scenes? Um, you hit the nail on the head. It's the perfect solution to having actors who can't fight. We're pretty good at fighting, but won't people be able to tell that we're not the same people just by looking at our faces? In theory, yes, but the action scenes are absolutely central to my experimental production. If you do a good job, a good enough job, I'll make it make the regular acting scenes into silhouette shots. There weren't many there weren't even many lines to begin with. I'll make the other actors cake themselves in makeup and adjust their silhouettes so they fit your profiles. With a bit of lighting magic, no one will even know the difference. In a way, the regular actors would actually be your doubles. Anyway, they aren't as well known as you two. I'll even pay you royalties. So basically, it will help you, we will be handed the staring roll on a plate, just like that. You also receive a large payment and it will do wonders for your reputation. Then it really does sound like you pay it off. What do you say? Uh, why pass up such a juicy opportunity? Time to put our action skills to test. Thank you so much for lending a hand. What a dream come true. Then without further ado, please head over to my experimental studio right away. There will be four fighting scenes in the film. Each with a completely different aimace. Each scene will also have its very own special lighting. Now, when the special lighting comes on, the action will intensify in line with the corresponding place in the script. With your experience, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it in no time. Once all the remaining scenes are filmed, we'll finally be able to wrap this thing up. Okay, go to challenge. It is. Oh no, it is another place, this one. Uh, it's the next shop. Have I ever bought something here? You have recipes. Huh. Good. Ah, but I did come here before. Oh, hey. Uh, two shots of your opponents endlessly appear within the time limit. And, yeah, I'm usually stuck with time limits. Once the challenge is over, the man will be distributed in score just when you're according to. Ah, uh, the lineup according to the special lining. Hmm. Defeat your enemies during the challenge of accumulate progress towards special line. Once ready, use it to use it at the right time to receive a temporary yet powerful combat buff. Use these effects well to complete the challenge efficiently. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay, a cryo will be good. And then just hit hard. Uh, no, I think that's more. And yeah, no, that that will be the same thing. Uh, uh, Satisfy educator. Uh, a storm encounter on a stormier night. A sudden squall is the ideal indicator of imminent conflict. It is the perfect prelude for this picture. The props crew has already set up the scene in the props and is quietly waiting for the first shots to be filmed. Hmm. Are they recommended or biting glassy ray? Uh, for 12 seconds after using, unleash a hydro shock wave centered around your active character every 4 seconds. Opponents will hit, hit will deal hydro damage, or crowd damage dealt by party members will be increased by 60%. Okay. Uh, what I think. I'm not sure if I use Rasley or Ayaka. But I'm definitely using Ovlet. Mm. Yeah, yes. Yeah, let's use her for her special mostly. Because I'll probably be using Novlet more often. Uh, then you to keep more Hydro around. Hmm. Something else for cryo. Mm, guess. Yeah. I guess Ganyo would be good. Bow your head. The tides beckon. Embrace the ice. All hail. Scorn of ice. Let the show begin. Settle down. I didn't even know that was. I could activate that. They was there for a while. For Rex Lapis, no touching. Silence. Be sanctified. Coming so to art. Surrender. Settle down. Let the mighty be humbled. Born of ice and frost. Access to. Bow your head. Ah. For Rex Lapis! Fuck. Whirling snow! Silence! Ah. The tides beckon. Uh, gold. Gold's the best. Oh, there was a platinum here. Gold's the best. Okay. Uh, it's 4,000 for everyone. Okay. Uh, uh, a fierce clash of rage. Not enough. Not enough conflict. What I want is rage. Such rage that as though it is on the verge of exploding. And Melly's instructions, the cameraman has switched to monochrome. 
Perhaps only such a stylized scene can meet the strangest requirements of this director overflowing with talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just hit hard. It would be good here. You. Um, uh, mm -hmm. I need some pyros. Mostly for him. Let's have a shield. Uh, actually, mm -mm -mm. yeah, she's doing doing well, and let's explode. Oh, hang on, what? Uh, normal text didn't true. Uh, unleash shockwave. The location of opening hits by your active characters. Normal attacks didn't true damage to nearby opponents. Uh, I don't keep using normal attacks with him. Hmm. Uh, no, no. Let's see. Solidify! Look alive! Ha! Wind strike! As one with wind and cloud! Gloves off! I will have order! <laughs> Fallen leaves, adorn my... Now you shall perish! <laughs> Illusion shattered! You asked for it! This is order! This Summon is the fire! good but I was pretty close I think I can do it with this party Down. 
Inazuma shines eternal! They aren't good here. I I don't really know how to play with them. Mm. Her mode. I'm I'm not sure if like her attacks, his attacks during the burst count as normal attacks as well. Uh who do I have that I use plenty of Normal attacks, mostly. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna bring Rustly here, and maybe she'll be good here to keep pouring water on them. Yeah, let's see. Mm. Keeping the electrify, I think, is good. And mm, let's bring Kazuha. No, 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 no. Let's let's get a shoot. Uh, I think we're disorder. Hmm. Let's not use. Yeah, I better try to avoid using Jean-Li's burst. It takes a bit too long and. I'm not sure it's doing that well. Strike a pose. Have a safe trip. Just one more. Okay, yeah. Good, two more even. So, like hell it can be that. Not enough time. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, sometimes those things take too long to die. 
attack of the out of position false images uh, excellent let's go deeper a plethora of disorderly lightning effects are quietly pushing the store toward its climax but it's it isn't easy to execute a common performance in such conditions and started dazzling ray after two for two seconds an elemental burst damage for all characters in the party increased by 80 percent when characters have less than 70 percent elemental energy their energy recharge increased by 50 percent okay what were they again mm, 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 mm. I think I'm starting to prefer Novelite over Kazuha. Shield. Or. Yeah, shield. And let's electrify them alongside the thing. Mm, yeah. Although I'm not sure I'll use Risley that much. I didn't pay attention. Who were the. Trial characters. Settle down. Put this together in the chili. Let the mighty be humble. A yeah. This is order. Solidify. Huh. Way now. Uh. Gather. Time to oblivion. Illusion shattered. Stay cool. Face your guilt. Solidify. Settle down. The time is beckoning. I will have order. Stabilize. Shine down. Now you shall perish. Let's begin. Be sanctified. Hmm. Hmm. Get a little chilly. This is order. Gather. Torn to oblivion! There is no escape! <sighs> Silence! No. Mm. Those fish haps take too long to die. Mm. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Just something there. Mm. Keeps more cryo on the field for longer. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try that again. She can keep more cryo. On the field while I'm using Novelite. Shine up. Stabilize. This is long overdue. Settle down. Come on, use the. Why isn't he? Why is it him making those water particles?
Why do we have the shield? I wasn't being um, cancelled mid attack. Solidify. There is no escape. Oh, hello. Bow your head. The time is beckoning. Order guide you. Stabilize. No touching. Settle down. Access denied. Silence. Be sanctified. Solidify! Illusion shut! I will have order! There is no escape! Now you shall perish! Born of ice and frost! Bow your head! Let the mighty be humble! All hail. Be sanctified. There. That was different the order now. But doesn't matter. Okay. Termination in Twilight Most Turbo. Uh, this is the final action scene. Everyone, give your best. Uh, the stage for the final battle is set and the cameras are ready to roll. The most unique scene in this experimental film is about to be wrapped up. Uh, okay, okay, okay. It's good to have one water here. Yeah, if there's a lineup only with large with fire slimes. It would be good to have one hydro here. But otherwise, just cryo. Okay, I'm not sure. Those two? Hmm. Let, let, let's let's see. Hmm. Mm, mm. Mm, no, I think I'll miss a shield. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, don't know. Let's see. I tested her, but I don't really remember what she does. I... Mm. Oh, I damn it! I didn't really, I didn't really read when I get. <laughs> uh, what do I get during the filter? Oh no! I don't need to leave it all. Uh, okay. Fox Arc Ray, uh, character of this elemental charge created by crystallized reaction. Uh, okay. All geo damage dealt by characters in the party will be increased by 30%. Oh, okay, so I'm really supposed to use them. Alright, so this changes things. Uh, I don't really use many geo besides John Lee. Okay, let's see. Uh, 
Yeah, this is 80, but it's probably better than mine. Probably better equipped than mine. Uh, I should be able to see their stats before selecting them. Stabilize! Order guide you! <laughs> hey there! Ah, rally! Feel this ancient power! Coming at ya! A proper send-off! From the Spina with love! Ah. I will have order! Coming at ya! Coming at ya! Advance! Press the advantage! Witness the great undertaking! Burst forth! This is order! I will have order. Charge! Rally! Watch out! Attack! Feel this ancient power. This. Okay, they got really overpowered here. Gather! Coming at ya! Coming to be! Witness the great undertaking! Attack! I will have order. Everyone on me! This! Watch out! <laughs> order guide you! Coming at you! Fire! Well, feel huh. this ancient power! Advance! Press the advantage! Coming at you! I will have order! Wow, I got double what I needed. Coming at ya. Wow. All right. So I got those there. All right. The band don't film me. Yeah. Good. Now the next one. Uh, no. Extreme drive. Yeah, I need to go back there. Mm -hmm. Then, poor contract employee. Uh, she looks like someone from the institute. On the film festival, great job! You really outdid yourself this time. I think Stan finishing the project before the deadline is nothing but a pipe dream. Uh, some wailing. I'm not just, I'm not just in for scolding. The boss is literally going to kill me. Why is the young lady over there crying? And do you think she needs a doctor? I wonder if there are any professional therapists in Fontaine. Uh, when did you get here? Thanks for your concern, but right now what I need is a doctor that can resurrect my dying career. Uh, if I'm almost pretty sure that isn't something a doctor can fix. It's only a job. Worst case scenario, you can always get another one. Work's pretty important. Maybe we should help. Uh, with how high she's made this take seem, we can't stand by and do nothing. Just talking about it like this won't solve anything though. Why don't you tell us more about your problem? That may be a bit hard, considering it's a technical issue. Now, just how can I explain it? 
Well, first things first, my name is Elaine and I'm an engineer working for the Fontanelle Film Festival's equipment supplier. I'm mainly responsible for developing audiovisual equipment. To achieve a certain effect when filming, our client requested us to develop a kind of stabilization platform that can carry film cameras while moving at high speed. This stabilization platform is also needed to be able to carry puppets that look like actors or model animals, playing the part of groups in the background. The way they be able to keep the cameras fixed on actors while moving at high speeds or save them from having to splash out uh, the cash to hire hordes of extras. Uh, on top of that, they insisted that each platform had to be less than a third of the cost of a camera and that its lifespan had to be at least 30 years. How is anyone that picky? Even for a master craftsman, producing something cheap but durable that works well is not only impossible, but I managed it. After all, the customer is always right, we've had even faster clients before, and I've nearly run myself into the ground trying to satisfy them. Then what's got you in such a huff? The problem is I don't have anyone to test it. I've created a product, but unless I can get it tested, the project can't be considered complete. All the testers who have a basic grasp of mechanics or are physically fit enough have already been employed by the Fontanella Film Festival for more important work. If the client receives the product that hasn't undergone proper testing and it turns out there's something wrong with it, they'll have to cut up 10 times the original payment amount in compensation. All I can do is hang around trying to sell our products while I look for some outside assistance. If it means I end up losing money on this contract in the end, so be it. After all, it was my boss that signed the agreement with the client, but I'll be the one on the hook if we have to compensate them 10 times the value of the contract. We've come this far, might as well tell us what testing involves. That's right, as long as it's nothing too complex, Perhaps we can handle some of the simpler stuff. It may not sound difficult, but it's harder than you think. To confirm how the stabilization platform performs when running at extremely high speeds, I set them to avoid anyone who gets too close mode. The tester has to run after stabilization platforms within a specific area and chase as many platforms as possible into the target area as quickly as possible. For someone with Poor stamina like me, chasing a stabilization platform more than a few steps is enough to make them collapse from exhaustion. What's so hard about that? It's just a bit of running around. Now that I've described this, but I'm most positive this will be a piece of cake. Uh, it's just a few machines, just wait, we'll be hot on their tails in no time. We might even end up overtaking them if we're lucky. That's the limit in that sort of thing, is a walk in the park. For real? What? Generally, you actually serious? Then I'll pay you, please. Ah, the commission. Uh, we won't say no to that. But under the circumstances, if we accept too much of your money, our consciences wouldn't forgive us. Just pay us however much you usually pay your testers. Miracle workers, that's what you are. Not just doctors, but miracle workers. Here to resurrect my dying career. The testing site is in an empty domain near the city. Mm. Well, I'll leave it to you too then. I have my undying gratitude. After many, after this many years in the business, finally a bit of luck, the boss won't be killing me tomorrow after all. Mm. After you finish this job, maybe you should consider switching, switching bosses. Mm. Oh, hang on, I... You only promise to help with the testing, I still feel a little on the edge, this restless feeling. Uh, just as I thought, getting over my client phobia won't be as simple as that. Are you alright? Now you're back, I'm sorry, I must have zoned out. I've been thinking, is there really no way for me to escape the shadow of my clients? Could it be that the only solution is, as you implied, to come up with a way of getting rid of my boss? Uh, I need to think this over. 
about the stabilization platforms. Uh, oh, the miracle worker. You're interested in the mechanical principles. Actually, there isn't anything novel about the technology itself. I just happened to make some technical breakthroughs based on some previously abandoned research. I've heard that there was a bunch of very, very talented engineers way back when who wanted to make cannons that could fire steadily even amidst towering waves. To that end, they worked day and night to invent a device that could stabilize weaponry on a vertical axis. Such projects were ultimately ab abandoned, sure, but I was able to restore the stabilizers based on some fragmentary documents. After scaling down, and the, result, the end result was the current stabilization mech. I wonder whether there is really a market for this type of machine. Hang on, we didn't speak to her. Oh, was it? My experimental style and special lining are quite soft, you know? Uh, I was just getting into it. Uh, I knew you were up to the job. Tell me action scenes clearly suits you like suit. Uh, feel free to drop by the studio anytime during the film festival to carry on filming. And then immerse yourself in the limelight. I literally have an inexhaustible supply of film roll. So no matter how many cuts you want to film, be my guess. When will the film come out? Hard to say, to be honest. Even after you and your acting double have finished all the filming, I then got to go through the whole process of editing, color grading, sound design, and more. I'm not even sure if I'll be able, if it will be done in time to start officially promoting it and put out a trailer. But none of our work work will have been wasted. If it all takes a day or two extra. When the film finally comes out, its quality will speak for itself. So please, have patience, my good partner. Okay, the... That's the domain. Customization platform testing site. Hmm, customization... Mecha balls automatically avoid testers. They move in the opposite direction of an approach tester. Stabilization mecha ball's movement is influenced by all testers. Ah, this should be something. Hope. Use this characteristic to send as many stabilization mecha balls as possible into your zone within the time limit. My zone? There'll be opposing zones? In addition to the stock balls, glitz balls will also spawn. Stock balls are worth 1 point each, glitz balls are worth 7 points each. I expect it to look like something that you could attach a camera to. More mechanical. Jump boosters can be found in this ground, because I want to prepare a stream jump that goes higher and farther. It's perfect for rapidly moving on the other side of this transition mecha balls so use it well. This will be carried out in one of the five locations at random. I hope I can go solo. No, I can't. Mm. Reward review. Okay, I have to get 5,000. Oh, and then I'll get one. <laughs> Alright. But, yeah, I'm still not sure, fully sure if this is a co-op or if I'm fighting them or if they're with me. Resolve. But, do I prepare? Uh. Oh. Let's make the most insights. Um. 
Uh, okay, do I have... I don't have to be better than them. Come on! I'm scaring you to the other side. Wasn't that thing supposed to flip from me? Come on! Over there. Too slow. Come on, stop bothering. Do I have to get five thousand there total? Come on, at least one. Quit following me. I have to get five thousand there. That's insane if that's Oh okay, good, good. I was afraid it would be how many points I would have to get total. <laughs> Okay, let's... Uh, mm -mm -mm. It didn't go? Oh, I didn't... Uh, um, I was checking something else, I didn't notice. It's about jumping, I think it should change to Kazuha. Where is Kazuha? Where is he? Red zone. Time to go. Okay, so I'm about to just draw a bunch of them there. Okay. No time to lose. Mm, 
Arena wall. First punch for a search fee. Didn't get any. Alright, change the game. Yellow zone. Have to wait for the anyway. Gliding be faster. Oh, there's a bunch here. Damage. There was right now. No, why did you change? Time to go. Go there. Look at nothing. All right. Wherever in this world I roam, I just I carry about the memories points. of my home. Ah, and the victory. This blade. Two, three. Three. Thirty-seven hundred, maybe thirty-eight. Uh, 38 Actually, didn't pay attention. Maybe it was marked there. My total on the point screen. Ah, uh, oh no. It isn't me. Pass him already? No. Uh, where is he now? Oh, whatever, let's go. I'm the one. I'm the one missing here. Oh, I couldn't because there was a castle already. Okay. Take 
and easy. And that's fine. It should be enough for me. Three out of four? And the one you know, lost was the first time I played. Come on, I'm not doing that great. Uh, okay, my total points doesn't show up here. Uh, yeah, I Tea got 5,000 already. Uh, I think there's one more. Into the frame, okay. This may be like the one we're in a bit. Uh, back there. Hmm. <laughs> Petit Lumiere, <laughs> famous director. A great day, isn't it? Uh, someone as famous as you, I bet people are always handing you their business cards. Uh, you know us, it's, this kid is pretty sophisticated. Putting another in com content merely on account of their lack of ears is a mistake only the most ignorant would make. I suspect the two of you are not quite so shallow as that. I didn't think to flatter myself, but my elder brother and I our famous local film directors, everyone was called me Mr. Petit Lumiere. So, the Lumiere Brothers. Hello, do you plan on giving us your business card as well? Correct, I am quite keen on learning more about your adventuring experiences. In my industry, extraordinary stories are always in demand. As you appear not to be well acquainted with me, allow me to introduce myself. My other brother and I have been working together to produce films for quite some time and have already had quite a few blockbuster successes. Perhaps you've seen employees, employees leaving the factory. Nope. Ah, that's okay. How about the arrival of, the, of an aquabus? Haven't seen it here. Can we see any movie here? We should be able. Ah, I see. There's nothing too remarkable. The road to fame and stardom upon which we two brothers tread is yet long, and we will certainly make even more popular films in the future. Film production, constructing and planning narratives, the performances of actors, the cooperation between cameraman and director, and post production processing all of it is a truly fascinating process. And among all this, I believe that the process of filming itself is the most technically demanding. 
what you choose to focus on while filming decides the information that will be conveyed to the audience, the atmosphere they will feel. Of course, the narration is very important, but you cannot expect a story to rely on narration alone. For shots, I always believe that you only need four shots to construct the smallest divisible unit of a story. Within just these four shots, a genius can work miracles. So why are you showing me your whole hand? Uh, would the two of you like to try? Seize this opportunity to reveal, to revel in the glamour and charm of filmmaking. So what should we do? It is simple, I will provide you with a few simple themes that have already been formulated in short scenes. The important thing is to try out different ways of handling both the narration and the camera, and combining them to film a few short scenes. Are the two of you interested? Our interest has been picked. Marvelous. Then, once the two of you are ready, you may go to the filming locations I have already prepared. I will give you feedback on your finished products. So I have multiple ways to go about it. Hang on. Um, about it, ready to try your film. Yes. Excellent, I've already set up the scenes, the actors are ready, and always waiting your arrival. About your older brother. Lumiere is much older than I, but that poses no obstacle to us brothers. Oh, damn it. Uh, we were not yet famous when we filmed the arrival of Aquabus and employees leaving the factory. We two brothers have done everything together because no one was willing to assist directors who were not yet famous. If you are interested, you can go see those two films. Where? So I just missed one line there. Or is brought to us brothers working together. Okay. Well, then here. So let's see. Path of the Sun. No, 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 no. Let's teleport. Path of the sun, and I'm underwater. The frame of the according to director's requirements, compared to the video, camera positioning is key. You should always set the camera position requirements beforehand. Which requirements? That sounds like the thing from Farina. I should start filming with the results. It's an, an actress play by Lynette is lost amidst the underwater seagrass and cannot find her way. When she looks up, the sunlight illuminates her face through the water surface, showing her the way forward. Okay, so show the environment that the actress, the that is lost in. I remember the path I took coming here. Let's keep going, it can be far, 10 for 20. Where should I swim? It all seems the same underwater. Let's go wrong, obviously wrong, and see what happens. Uh, show the environment. Both... All other water looks like the environment. Mm, film how the actress play by net looks as she swims through the seagrass. Uh, this one... Ah, this one I just have camera position. Uh, I like the bewildered expression that the actress Pavlina see the sunlight shining through the water. Here, she's seen. Uh, in narration, I know, let's follow the sun's ray. After enjoying refreshments, I should be time to go to prepare a performance for this evening. Forget, let's just go home. Okay, let's see. I'm showing the environment, in a way. No. What? 
someone regrettable. Okay, I just wanted to see what would be. No, okay, I remember the thing. What should I say? What's the same? Whispering to herself while lost on the water. Okay. Yeah, but there's a thing. Those, any of them could. Ah, it shows me that I got how many points I got for each. Oh, interesting. Ah, so I can just go by try and error till I get everything right and not even pay attention to anything. No, let's try to get things right. Uh, her expression, and now she's looking to. Let's follow sensory. Mm. Divine handiwork. Okay. Let's go with the less option, just because. Mm, this works as well. I can't really skip that. Okay, some some things have more than one. No, not really more than one rise because I got thing for each. Look warm perception. Mm, ten. No, actually, I, I don't really have to fix everything, right? Because this one's done. Let's go to the next one. Uh, no, I want to go in order. So, what is the next one? Waiting under the sweltering sun. Under the sweltering sun, the protagonist, played by Nagia, is waiting to meet with her friend, played by Paimon. The latter cannot endure the merciless sun and appears listless and downcast before the protagonist's eyes. The protagonist takes out the umbrella and sunglasses she prepared, indicating to her friend to take shelter from the sun together. Highlight the oppressively sunny weather. Uh, film the actress by Banavia, waiting to show the actress' expression. Hmm. I th no, it's not the same points. Okay, I think maybe this could. If the camera pans a while, maybe this would be a better shot, but if it's not the same amount of points. Uh, it probably wants me to really focus. Uh, film the scene of the two actresses meeting. Uh, show the expression of the actress played by Paimon as she withers in the sun. I think we could use another NPC instead of Paimon. Where should we go? It's way too sunny here. I want to eat out of the board's macarons so badly. I feel the actress play by Navia as she holds the umbrella in sunglasses. Come on, let's go to the cafe. Yeah, I'm just about to wilt in this heat. 
Don't worry, I read prepared. Come stay in the parcel. We have so many NPCs and they don't even speak here. NPCs, not really NPCs, playable characters and they don't even speak. They don't have lines here. We could have just had somebody else. Probably Chlorine. inside Hang on, is it inside? Far works merchant Ryan Fontaine played by Yoimiya and her client played by Riketti. I don't know who is that. I have arranged to meet at Hotel de Boer to discuss the sale. After carefully checking the samples, the client acknowledged the quality of the fireworks and a deal is struck. Then the customer played by Riketti uh, sizing the samples on the table. I mean, that was probably should focus on him. Uh, for the customer, better in the mysterious merchant. Mysterious. Turn the quality of this clothing samples. Do not meet the requirements of the merchant station. Can guarantee the effectiveness of these products. Uh, review the identity of the mysterious merchant. Ensure her the manner. The identity. The seller display the branded products to the customer. Uh, branded products. So this one showing the products. Uh, show the only friendly atmosphere as far works. Vendor discuss the sale with the client. These have been our most popular products across the years, our star merchandise, guaranteed to provide only the biggest and most beautiful fireworks for your satisfaction. Things should be enough, no need to order more, this should be amazing, okay. Mm, show that the sale was successful by filming the customer's reaction. Reaction. No way, since you come contain, you must simple our cuisine, don't have a deal, no that's not good, you have a deal. This feels like a weird scene to film, if it's not like a shady deal or anything. Look how lame Ammonia's idea of crisis awareness defies words. Alright. There's one more around here. There. Uh, 
a corner of lane in the Court of Fontaine, an actress played by Charlotte has set up a camera and is adjusting it to find the perfect angle to capture photos that show off the gorgeous scenery of the city at Lanes. Merely after mentally comparing a few different angles, she makes her decision. Uh, versus the environment and characters will perform. I like the actress, the manner she ponders, the manner, not expression. I think full shot, full body shot is better. The manner explain the reason why the actress has set up currently. Then there was a time when the report handed if the shot is taken from this angle, shot by a better lens after I got paid. Um, film actress that she ponders something while looking at the already set up camera. Pondering. Uh, Show actress how the actress ponders her pictures contents while capturing the scenery of the Court of Fontaine. Uh, film actress the manner and she shows her her changes in moods changes in moods i'm not sure has along the thoughts of the actress in choosing the picture angle yes you should be able to capture the entirety of card at its best it's a trick of the senses it must be a trick just gotta bear it until the paycheck clears i don't know I mean, this one I know, I'm not sure about the angle. Okay. Beyond expectations. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no, that was right, that was right. 20, 20, 10. The manor. The manor. That was 10. Okay, so when you say the manner, you mean expression. the last one Ultimate Overlords Mega Magic Surge. Mm. Melo Systems. That's a uh, claimer. Attack. Recharge. Uh, attack increased by 12%. That's not all. The support from all Melusins you helped immerse village fills you with strength. Based on the number of them you helped? Your tax increased up to an additional 12%. But 
how do I know my exact amount? Uh, hmm. A magical surge that can only be wielded by the ultimate overlord who rules the sea. I'm the king of the Melusins. As he has been made with special water resistant materials, will not get ruined by water damage, even after being immersed. Why, one might even call it invincible. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Isn't a recharge good for. Uh, Preminent? There wasn't anything here to upgrade the surge. Tea parties are a must to refine the surge. Ah, oh. ah, oh, I got those during the thing. Super duper invisible shiny sparkly match crystal is a duct tape. Specialized. Refining material for ultimate overlord's mega magic surge can gather many wishes, including super cool cardboard ones, and put them together, forming an ultimate super duper mysterious power. Oh, I thought this was a mech, kind of like a garden mech surge. No, it's a cardboard surge that can go underwater. Ah. Oh. No, I want to read that. Uh, uh, put them together, forming ultimate super duper mysterious power. Uh, though you can buy a toy version in Tamoville Purple that looks similar, okay, basically exactly the same. In reality, there is probably a qualitative difference between the two, so definitely don't mix them up. Who is the Melusin that gave this to me? We need to know. Can I place in different spots? No. Hey, hang on. This one doesn't get a better upgrades. Doesn't upgrade easier during the event. They usually do. Uh, hang on. No, no, that's that's right. Uh, I probably equipped him with whatever something that was recommended somewhere. Okay. I think he had that for a little while as well. No, both are. Damage. Okay, who, who am I using that has energy recharge? I oh, know, but this is just because the absurd damage. Energy recharge. Nobody's using that. Energy recharge, but doesn't suit him. Could suit her. Uh, uh, defense, and it's probably just because it fits him. The looks, not because. I'm not sure. Metal Mastery, Recharge, no. Mm -mm. I don't have more Claymore Wielders. Yeah, I think he's the one that will fit the best. But I'm not really sure that is good for him. Ah, 24%. Yeah, but it doesn't... It should show somewhere how... How much of that am I getting? Mm, Navia... I don't... 
does it show here? Uh, I just tested her and I don't remember. She uses a large surge. Okay, let me see here. No, this was for the domains. And uh, that. No, damage. Let's get the rest. Okay. Play it. All right. Mm. Well, I'll need to go for the main to upgrade this again. Yeah. Not even sure. Wait. Uh, uh. Yeah. Not today. Mm, that's the one, right? Yeah, that's the one. Mm -mm -mm. There was something more. Good shop. I got everything. I got the gift. Mm. Oh, yeah, there's that as well. I thought this was uh, an event. I didn't know this was just claiming rewards. I had to place that home afterwards uh, bronze Cru curio ancient golden visage a statue of rex laps with an opulent golden mask in hand a commemoration of the time he entered a certain strange and wondrous realm the mask is solemnity itself and strikingly decorated it has the air of an object that seems to be telling a tale that harkens back to some mysterious and wondrous history Okay, well, there's that, but there's the other events going on as well, so I'll probably play that next week before going for her chapter. Mm -mm -mm. Let's just take another look around here, see if there's anybody else we can talk to. Because I haven't seen Ayato or Ayaka around here. Yeah, I don't think they'll be further there. The Am I just missing them somewhere obvious? And I can't talk to any of those people, can I? <laughs> Come, Mr. Steambird. Are you always here, or is this about the quest? The event? She smiled her lovely face wet in the rain and she felt herself fortunate indeed. For this way, you cannot know she was crying. What are you talking about? I consider the plot of a novel. The editor's been on my case for two days now. Shame being any longer. Yeah, I don't think this is about the event. This seems very tired. The vagaries of writing serial novels. I originally took it at this up as relief from boredom. I never expected the romance novel world to be so popular. I was never naive at the, I was quite naive at the time, signing the serialization contract as I did, and now I find myself struggling late into the night over the, my writing process. I'm stopping once I finish the series. I mean it's not as I need the more. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely not around here. Curious as well. Hmm, I think plantation, but maybe they could be at the hotel. They were staying there after all. Or maybe they could be. And the police memoria talking to Novelet. Oh, there. This is a vein. There is also. It's quite likely they will place the arrested people somewhere in the fortress. Art is the key. 
and they will probably vanish after the event. Hmm. Just a quick look around. Yeah, but I don't think they'll be here. If the world should be somewhere, it'll probably be close to the others. It's not like they returned to Inazuma yet, already. Yo and Mia was there. No. Well, Wrestler was there for the... For a little while during the quest when I could talk to him. Mm. Let's just go take a round a look around here, the first floor. If none of them are on the first floor, the others probably won't be as well. Knocker. Pretty sure they won't be here. At least one of them should be around here. It will make sense for them. They could be anywhere else, but I not just gonna blindly run around looking for them without knowing they are there. Yeah, anything wrestling isn't here anymore. Alright. But Ayaka and Ayato I think should be somewhere. Uh, I got one. Okay. Alright. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, just the other event. Alright. So, I'm out.